Okay, hello and welcome back to Heroes 3 for another playthrough series. This is going to be called the Inferno Insurrection, and it's going to be me playing against seven allied opponents, all of which are going to be um, good aligned factions, so we're going to have three castle opponents. It's going to be very difficult because they will have at some point Archangels, which are going to be faster than our fastest creatures, and also have a 50% bonus against them. That is the unfortunate thing about going up against Archangels when you have uh, Archdevils as your best creatures. Also going to be going up against two Rampart opponents and two Tower opponents. So it's kind of a spiritual successor to a previous series we did called the Castle Crusade where we played as Castle and we went up against seven different evil factions, seven different opponents, all of which allied against me. I do need to uh, fix this up. All of which allied against me and I'm also going to be playing on the Shadow of Death expansion, i.e. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 Complete Edition, uh, which is to say I'm not playing on the Horn of the Abyss mod. Which is also to say that this is going to be very challenging because, in my opinion, and in the opinion of probably most players, Inferno is not the best faction, not really on Castle's level. And uh, that's especially true when you play on Shadow of Death. Um, on Horn of the Abyss, they're a lot better. You have the ability to, for example, um, fire between units with Magogs, which massively reduces the chance of that kind of friendly fire thing that Magogs normally suffer from. Um, and you also have access to Archdevil's are able to inflict minus two luck on your opponents and negative luck is a thing in Horn of the Abyss so you can occasionally make it so that your opponents do effectively half damage and in fact you can actually do it quite often because Archdevils do have that minus two luck and it does kick in quite a lot. Um, you do get minus one luck when playing as Inferno on Shadow of Death. The problem is that negative luck doesn't really exist as a thing so it's only really useful um, if your opponents already have positive luck because you might be able to bring their luck down by one level, which is not that useful. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be really challenging. I decided to go for the challenging route instead of for the kind of fun route. Um, so we are playing on complete edition. It's gonna be difficult, but one thing we do have up our sleeves is uh, Aiden the Heretic. This is gonna be full powered intelligence. So at some point we're going to have doubled spell points, um, and it's also going to be going up even higher as we continue to level up. As usual, we're going to be going with a gold bonus because we are playing on impossible difficulty. Um, we're going to leave these guys all on random. And I guess we're just going to jump into it and hope for the best. Okay, so I was a little bit worried we were going to be blocked off by Harpy Hags. I did have to, um, to re-roll this one because last time I got stuck behind uh, a horde of halberdiers and I couldn't go anywhere without fighting a horde of halberdiers. That would not have worked out. Um, so this is our new start. We've got... No Hall of Sins, so we're stuck with just imps for now. I could spend my gold on 10 more of them. If they would actually make a difference, I'm not sure they will though. Uh, let's move out. Let's go for 2,000 gold, that's a pretty good start. Let's go for 600 on this. Okay, so that's straight up to 3,100. This does look to be... Fairly open, so let's go straight for... I've actually got Linus. that's um... I was gonna say strangely appropriate, but I actually think it's strangely inappropriate given the... He was the hero of the um, the Castle Crusade playthrough. Uh, he's now joined the dark side apparently, or in fact is at least trying to. Uh, he's now made himself available to be recruited to the dark side. Okay, so that's a bit more gold, I think we can go and build a Hall of Sins, let's do it, we're gonna need some gogs for sure. Okay, so if we move up, we can see a pack of Power Liches guarding the Shield of the Damned. Uh, we can also see lots of Wolf Riders guarding a Ring of Life. I can't remember if that helps us Demon Farm, and I'm going to explain Demon Farming probably later, if the opportunity uh, presents itself. But Demon Farming is one trick that Inferno has up its sleeve uh, to actually kind of compete. Can be extremely powerful, and we could see it in action in this playthrough for sure. Alright, so recruiting Loinus as a scout does look to be an option, but I think I prefer to go for the Town Hall this turn. Um, and because we don't have a marketplace, we're not going to be able to recruit another hero uh, at this particular point. I think we can go for the School of Magic. That's going to cost us a thousand, so let's hold back on that for now. Let's avoid this too. This is going to force us to take a skill. Going to move back towards the base, going to end the turn. 
Uh, so this is a horde of harpy hags guarding the ever-flowing crystal cloak. Uh, we can go around them, it's quite a detour. But I don't think we can really take them on at this stage. Okay, so we've got view air. 500 gold. And a little bit more gold available there, so... Clearly lots of gold around. Let's pick up Linus. Was not expecting to um, have him on my side, but okay. We'll pick up a few of these as well. Okay, this should give us a bit of meat, but... I think we don't want to make this push. We don't want to take this fight against the Harpy Hags, we're not ready for that. Uh, so what we will do is we'll send Linus through to see what this gets us. Basic air magic. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll definitely go for that. And we'll push our way through. So we can see lots of skeletons guarding an obelisk. I'm probably going to ignore that. Uh, let's check out what this is. It's visions. Not too useful. And Linus in this direction. We've got 900 left to spend. Going to go for a marketplace. I think it will be a good idea to get our economy going um, as soon as possible. Get the shield spell, view air, and can push in this direction. I think we want to scout it first. Yeah, so at the end of the Castle Crusades series, um, I started hiring a lot of evil creatures just to hold my towns with. And that does obviously lend itself to a pretty good explanation of how the Inferno Insurrection came to be. There were still plenty of evil creatures around. And they've now captured Loinus and brought him into their service. Okay, Mage Guild level 1. That is needed for the City Hall. It's also definitely good to have. Uh, it's day 4. So, could go for the Citadel before the end of the week. Gonna get us extra gogs next week. Let's check who took Linus's place. It's Christian who comes with a ballista. That's probably worth going for. Let's go for this first. Let's pick up Christian as a scout and let's make use of his ballista. Okay, we'll take this for ourselves. We will move to the west. Okay, so we get Firewall from that. I was hoping for Blind, but Inferno, another good thing Inferno has is the highest possible chance of getting access to the Blind spell in the Mage Guild. Okay, lots of familiars for plus one defense and a treasure chest. I think we do go for this. Some losses expected. We'll try and keep that to a minimum if we can. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is the SOD SP uh, add-on mod to the HD mod. Um, it does move the battle queue to the right side of the screen. Gives you a few more options in terms of like combat speed and stuff like that, and also allows you to um, assign spells to hotkeys. Okay, so we're going to lead these guys away from our main stacks. I'm going to defend with these. And we'll wait with these. Shoot the 9 stack with these. Finish these off with our halberdiers. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that actually. Let's go and block them off. Okay, so they go grab a kill and we can finish them off. That's fine. We're not keeping pikemen either way, long term. Uh, let's actually see what their main heroes are. So, they've got Valeska, who has a very strong marksman. Ryland for strong dendroids, that's pretty scary. Mafal is probably the scariest of all. An armorer specialist. Gonna be very tough to kill if she gets to a high level. Okay, it's manageable. Okay, so what to do next? Lots of sprites for the Pendant of Free Will and some Mercury, I think we're... Better off just not taking that fight at all. Let's go to the west. Uh, lots of pikemen. Guarding a windmill, some ore. It's not going to make much of a difference, but I think we might as well go for it. 
And I can see that the sprites actually guard the way through to another area. But that next area appears to be guarded by um, some archers. So, not a great fight to take. Ah, crap. Didn't mean to defend there, that was a misclick. Okay, so we attack these. Uh, we're gonna wait with these. I think we will attack these. Take the counter attack, we defend with these. Send these forward. Now we can attack this. And they shouldn't be able to retaliate. They do move, but that's just because of their um, their actual move. Go for these next. Forced to attack because unfortunately the gogs are slower than the imps. Okay, now we wait with these. They do come closer and they get morale. Okay. This is where things get slightly painful. Try and weaken these. They do get morale as well. Uh, fortunately they do go for the ballista. So that is already coming in slightly handy. Uh, if we go for this attack, it's not going to work out, so we're going to go defensive. I think we will attack with these. Yeah, not sure this was worth the losses, actually. Still gets us some more, which is an important early game resource. Uh, we're going to wait with these. Take the retail with these. Finish them off. Okay, quite a few losses there. I think we just go straight to the south. Uh, so we can see lots of gnolls guarding some gold and a potential level up. We'll definitely go for that next. Okay, so a bit more gold there, and some Mercury too. Grab this gold with Linus, and let's see, I think, yeah, we don't get access to this. Might be able to get access to it pretty soon with Aiden. Move south, let's pick this up. More gold down here. And back in our base. It's day 5. Just need the Mage Guild level 1 for the City Hall, and that's affordable next turn. Alternative is we could go Demon Gate into Citadel. Maybe into Hell Hole. That leaves us with no money at the start of next week. Um, so I'm not massively keen on doing that. I think Mage Guild does make sense. We get Slow, we get Haste. We've already got Air Magic, so that's pretty good. Let's go for this, and let's go and explore this. So, it appears to be a bit of a dead end. No, there is a way through, but it's it's very long-winded. But still, right now there's not much else we can do. We don't want to be taking a fight with a pack of marksmen. Uh, let's just end the turn there. Okay, so this next fight is definitely worth doing. It's not going to be pleasant, but... It's definitely winnable. Okay, 32 nulls. Try and distract them as best we can. So yeah, we can see by moving those imps to the bottom, nulls have started to go after them. Should be able to delay them reaching us. Fortunately, we don't really have don't really have enough gogs to do any real damage. Could go for a firewall, it's going to do 30 points of damage. I don't think we need it though. Okay, so they're coming closer, let's move slightly further back. Okay, these guys get morale and come towards us. Alright, so at this point, we're going to keep these guys forward just as bait. We're going to go for these, weaken them a bit. And these forward too. These come up to attack us to get morale. Uh, they start pushing through towards our gogs. Still want to go for the bigger stacks first. Okay, 
Yeah, they're really getting quite lucky against us. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for these next, I think. And this is kind of a problem. We can't hold them off. Can't stop them reaching our gogs. We could somehow distract them into attacking the Ballista, but I don't think that's going to work for long. Okay, the Gogs are still alive. Uh, let's go towards this, let's go for Advanced Intelligence. So we're going to become an extremely good spellcaster, so if everything goes horribly wrong with our creatures, we should still have uh, a very good mage on our hands. Alright, let's go for the Mercury. Let's try and get Zyron to aid in if at all possible. Pass these units over. Okay, so Christian is going to start moving back towards the base, I think. Go and scout this out, so there is a way through, as we thought. Not too much we can do with that, though. Uh, so lots of hobgoblins with eight gogs is not going to work out. We're going to have to start bringing Aiden back the long way. Um, what we should probably do is set up a chain at the start of next week. Just pass some units over to Aiden as quickly as possible. Uh, gonna go back into town, we're going to build the city hall. And we're gonna turn there. So I think main thing I want to do is I want to have more gogs at the start of next week, so we have to get ourselves three extra ore if we can. We'll try this, as we get Mercury instead. So we're actually doing fine for gold. There is some up there. But it's already day seven. But Aiden can actually just about reach. And that's as far as he can go, so let's go back to this. Let's build the Citadel. Then we're going to go back to Christian. Could go into the base and wait there, or could go for this gold instead. I think we will go for the gold. Uh, we'll move Linus up towards the base instead, or in fact, should be able to recruit a new hero next turn, so this should work. Turn the turn there, and we're into week two. Okay, so in our tavern, we've got Kaled and Sandro. So Kaled is definitely worth picking up, that's going to be plus one sulfur every turn for potentially the rest of the game. Uh, upgrading the Hall of Sins would be a nice thing to do, um, but unfortunately, as I said, we are playing on Shadow of Death. Magogs will unfortunately friendly fire our creatures. So, better off going for something else. Probably kennels, if we can find some wood. Let's have a look. So there's some wood to our east. Let's go for the sawmill now. Pick up some more gold. Okay, so Zyron does have a few creatures to pass over. Let's go back into this base. Uh, let's pick up the, I think, Demon Gate. Yeah, I think it does make sense to go for that now. If we're going to end up with any kind of power stack in this game, I think it's going to be either Arch Devils or Demons. So let's go for some Demons. Let's get that going. Uh, we can also build up all of our Imps if we want to. I think we should. Okay, so Caleb is going to go over to Linus. Take one of these back just to speed ourselves up. Linus is going to move in this direction. Okay, so we pass all of these over. Okay, we're taking one Hellhound just to speed him up next turn, and... I think we can go for the sprites. If we go for this, we're going to be moving towards the pack of marksmen. Still not sure we can really go for that just yet. They're upgraded. They have about the same number as we do gogs. We can rush towards them, but none of our creatures are that fast. 
We also don't know if there's actually anything worth going for on the other side. Still, I think we should open this up. Okay, so it's a subterranean gate, which means there should be guards on the other side as well. I'm gonna see if I can keep these safe, I don't think I can. Yep, so they're gonna go for the imps, they get six kills. Kind of unfortunate, but never mind. Alright, so we push through, we can go for the marksman. I think we should stay aggressive. So we'll get us through to another section as well. So if we look at our spells, we've got firewall, shield, not too useful. Don't really want to go for this, but don't think we have much choice. Okay, only 12 losses expected. I think I'm just going to accept that. Thought they might go for the gogs. On the other side, there is a guard of a horde of pixies. That's easier than expected. Okay, let's rearrange these units a bit. Let's spread out some of these imps. And let's go for the pixies. 73 pixies, so it's pretty strong, but shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so they will move to the bottom, that's perfect. Waste their time with that, we're going to defend with the rest. Start killing these off. Okay, a few losses to those, but nothing too bad. Uh, fire magic's interesting, but I think we will actually not go for that, because we've already got intelligence, which is not always a skill I'd go for. This is a mage, but um, I do usually like to go for, of course, logistics, offense, earth magic is essential. I'm not sure about the other two, possibly tactics. Tactics should enable us to keep ourselves fairly safe from those uh, initial Archangel attacks later on. Okay, Horde of Imps guards away through to, I assume, another player. I'm not sure I want to go for that. If we look to the south, it's pretty empty. We could go for it, but let's go west instead. Okay, so we've got a magic spring for extra spell points. Not too urgent. Horde of Imps guards the way through to another area. If we go for this Horde of Imps, we have to fight something on the other side of the two-way monolith. So I think going for this one instead does make sense. Might have to fight the Master Gremlins, unfortunately. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so we finish those off, we defend with these, and should be able to distract the rest. You go back. Okay, so we cycle through the rest, we keep attacking, and we finish them off. Okay, so we can get through. I'm going to go to the north instead, just in case we find perhaps a stronghold town or something. Map is a little bit more open than I thought. Might benefit from a couple more heroes. 
So Sandra is going to come with some undead units, which isn't going to help us too much. Hellhole's going to give us some pit fiends. Uh, the fire lake requires quite a bit more ore, but otherwise that is doable. I think we'll go kennels for now. And Sandra is still really tempting. I think we do need more heroes. So yeah, let's go for Sandro. Okay, let's go scout this with Linus. There's no way through. Okay, so we're going that direction instead. We're going to go for this wood. We're going to go and open up this... Redwood Observatory. So the way through to the ore pit is unguarded. Imcrucible requires us to fight some Master Gremlins. Not sure there's too much else we can really do. Uh, there is some, some gold available to be grabbed to the south. Zyron can keep going, I think, although actually I think he's blocked by the Wolf Riders. Can probably... Probably not take these on. I think normal skeletons, perhaps. 20 imps, 5 gogs. But I think skeleton warriors, probably not. Okay, let's bring Caleb back. Okay, still no sign of our opponents. That's good. Then Linus to the south. Okay, no sign of anyone there. Okay, Sandra is going to go up and pick this up. Grab this too, and start moving towards the ore. Then Christian's going to go towards the gold. Kaled could pick up some extra units, but I think keep focusing on the town for now. We could go for the crypt. That should be fine. But fairly easy to push through this. Horde of skeletons, no problem. Okay, so yeah, they do come to chase us. I think I'm fairly happy just to keep things fairly slow at this point. Try and catch up to our opponents who will have had a much richer start than us. They put themselves in range, we can finish them off. And should be able to do this with no losses. Perfect. Okay. Might as well check this out. Okay, so it's a bit of crystal. Can't afford to go for this, but we'll keep moving this direction. Hoping we'd find a town. Might be better off going back, going for the crypt, but kind of feel like we've made our choice. I might send Caleb for this. Yeah, why not? Okay, still no opponents. Let's see what else we can find. So this all appears to be unexplored. Definitely possible to keep going with Aiden. Okay, lots of walking dead. Horde of pikemen. We don't want to fight the genies. So I think we go for the Walking Dead. That is actually pretty scary. Actually quite a few of them. Ok, 
Okay, so how many shots do we have? I think we're gonna need them. So 11 shots, that should be fine. Bring these a little bit closer. Okay, so they're now in range. We can kill six per shot, that's not bad. Pull them to the bottom. Pull them away again. Weaken them a bit more. So, a little fact about Walking Dead. I'll probably mention this in a video one day, but... Um, Walking Dead, really good for harvesting XP because they're 10 HP each which means 10 XP each, and they're very easy to kill. Pretty much no threat. There we go. 500 XP does get us a level up. Expert Wisdom. Uh, gonna have to fight the Pikemen as well. Or we could loop around them. I think we would take some losses to a horde of Pikemen, so... I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, so Kaelid is now very far from home. If we end up losing this starting force and we have to go back and pick up a new force, I think that's fine. Uh, when I said Kaelid, I meant Aiden, of course. Alright, so... Day 4. We just need gold for the Fire Lake. If we're not going to see any opponents anytime soon, I'd be tempted to start going for the capital. None of this stuff is urgent. Let's see what we can pick up. Okay, so we can afford the Fire Lake. Okay, Sandra's gonna go for this. Yeah, I feel like we could go for the capital. Some people are, like, very anti-capital, but I think in this type of playthrough, if we don't have one, if we don't have one we can easily steal. Not a bad idea to start getting that extra 2,000 gold per turn as soon as possible. Okay, so we've got the Fire Lake, we can start recruiting some of these creatures. So if we go to the north, we can take on the Wolf Riders, Sprites. Don't really get that much out of that. On the other hand, Hobgoblins should be fine. I'm gonna pick these up. It's a bit risky to bring the undead, but I think it should be fine. Alright, let's go towards these. Let's end the turn. Still no sign of our opponents. And we have found a Conflux Town, so perfect. It was definitely worth going aggressive. Uh, we shouldn't need to take any losses. Don't want to get too precious about four imps, but still. No need. There we go. Alright, so we've taken this. Town Hall requires a tavern. Let's go for the tavern straight away. Uh, we can also recruit a new hero. So Pyre is an Inferno hero. Uh, Josephine's not too useful. Pyre does come with a Ballista. We've already got one, of course, but still. Tempted to pick her up just to go and scout some more. Uh, if we send Aiden in... We could have gone for the Mage Guild, got some, uh, some better spells and some spell points back, but... We can also go to the north instead. Take on the Trugs. Or look to the west. There, we can pick up some knowledge. This is a dead end as far as the road goes. Okay, so what else can we do? So we've got this guy... ...going for these. Five losses to skeletons, that's completely fine. See what this opens up. Okay, so there's a bit more gold down there. Yeah, still very open.
think Christian doesn't have too much else to be doing. So we might start bringing him back. Uh, Zyron could probably take on the Horde of Imps. But no, I think we'll start going back to the town. Uh, lots of gnolls should actually be fine. Especially since we start with Inferno, although we can't afford to cast it, I'm pretty sure. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, I didn't think there'd be that many. Um, that's not good. 30 points of damage. I think we do go for this. We shouldn't lose this. Worth it for the gold. Pretty sure these guys can take a hit. Uh, let's magic carry these. Like these. Okay, so they've fought their way through to the Gogs. They're gonna keep pushing in. Go for these next. Then we'll go for the Marauders. We can shoot with the Gogs so we can do some damage to these. Okay, so if we attack these, we... We'll get to move with our imps before the seven stack moves. Then it's these guys' turn to move again. I think we do just go for the melee attack. Do take a loss. Let's try moving away. Alright, fine. We didn't lose, that's the important thing. Guess there's 2,000 gold and some sulfur. And we can start coming back. Let's use Loinus just to scout a little bit further. Pick up some resources. Let's look to the north as well. Then, back in our base, it's day 5. I think we do go for the castle either way. Good for both our economy and our creature production. We'll end the turn. Uh, let's see, so could have maybe recruited Pyre, that might have been a good thing to do. She doesn't come with much, but I think we do need to scout this. Yeah. It's kind of a turn too late, but... It's still an option. Let's move our scouts first. Okay. Bit of gold's always useful. There's still some gold to pick up for free. Let's go for this first. So there's more grassland to the north. That might be part of the same zone, I'm not really sure. I think... probably not. I think that's the obvious direction to go in with Aiden. Okay, thing is, we have 6,000 to spend. It's day 6, we probably want to increase our growth the next turn. We do want to go for the Forsaken Palace as soon as possible. We don't have enough Mercury. We do have more than enough ore, we have lots of ore. Uh, but we're way off in terms of gold, so I think doing that this week is impossible. Next week should be very doable. I think we go Cages. Just try and get a good stock of creatures. Start bringing Zyron back, and I am going to pick up 
both the Town Hall and Pyre. Go scout this out. So it's almost like a starting zone for a player that doesn't exist. Do I want to move in that direction? I think, yeah, it is part of the same zone. There might be another opponent through that um, subterranean gate. Could go in this direction instead. I think I will because I can at least get the knowledge. Okay, so it appears to be a dead end. Horde of Ogres, obviously not doable. Let's go towards the town, I think. Or could go west. There must be something. Okay, so we've got an imp cache, we've got lots of lizard men. Yeah, that's uh that's not the best. Okay, so we've seen our first opponent. Is it worth going for them? I think it depends how strong they are, so it's Rion. That's probably quite tough for us. I'm not sure we should do that. As uh, there's actually no way through. But if we go to the north, this does look explored, and it's been taken by Blue. So Blue is around. Probably going to destroy Pyre before Pyre can run. Um, let's have a look. That doesn't tell me too much. Take this instead. So Blue is one of the castle players. We want to start taking those out before they get to Archangels, but Aiden's a bit cut off. Birthing Pools is tempting because we can convert imps into... Um, demons indirectly later on. So upgraded kennels is also pretty good, server I'm much better than hellhounds, but... With it being day 7 I'm gonna go for birthing pools, just try and build up a stock of imps. And... We could pick up some conflux creatures just to help us push, but it's going to be quite a long time before we can take on Rion. So that's green. Green is another castle player, and Rion is their strongest hero. So I think we actually go back to this. We're going to wait here for a turn, uh, and I think we should, if we can, no, we can't upgrade this, but still, I think just some air elementals will help us. I'm not sure we're strong enough for that. Because we also have to push through. I think even if we take out the normal orders, we still have to go for the pack of orcs. I mean, he's not that strong. But he is stronger than us. Okay. Let's go for this. Okay, so that's 4k. Zyron back in the base. So the good thing about next week is we're going to have a good stock of creatures. Uh, we can pretty easily go for these. We do want to build up our mage guild. We have a good stock of resources. We can definitely keep that going. So let's go for these next. That seems fine. And let's go for these. Let's try and prevent that. Could have done that sooner, but never mind. better. Okay, so we've got some gold up there, we've got a campfire for a bit more gold, and it's going to take a while to get back with our e but I think that's fine. Uh, let's go south with Loinus. Let's bring Loinus back to safety.
Okay, I think that's fine. So everyone's starting to appear. Green has actually broken through to us. Coming very aggressively towards us. It's Sanya. And Rion. If they combine their forces, that's a problem. I can build the fort. I don't really want to spend my gold in this town, though. Hmm. Okay. So what we should do, really, is we should attack them as powerfully as we can. Try and take their town. If I just go for 15 air elementals, is that going to make enough of a difference? I'm not really sure. We go for this. That is pretty solid. I think I'll try it. Is this a mistake? No. That should be fine. Could also pick up some rocks. But no. Let's go... Could try and go straight through the Master Gremlins, unfortunately, I think we would take quite a few losses. Uh, if we try to go straight through these, I don't think we get there. Probably also want... a Mage Guild. I think we have to do this. There we go, back to this. We're gonna pick up the Mage Guild. I'm gonna learn a few more spells, nothing useful. That's pretty unfortunate. Let's move towards Rion. I think we make our move straight towards his base. We probably aren't strong enough to take a base, but if it's undefended it might be okay. Ah, uh, let's see what happens next. So I think Pi is gonna get killed. But in the meantime we can explore. Okay, it's a bit of a dead end, but we've got access with a few more units. Could maybe go for this. Let's just see what he starts with. Protection from air, no, that's not good enough. We're gonna have to come back. a bit closer. Okay, so they will go for a one stack first, that's fine. If these... shouldn't have bothered with this, but never mind. Yeah, I don't think we actually save any creatures. I guess we did. Okay, so lots of Infernal Trogs is a bit tougher, but should still be fine. Let's spread these out. Get ourselves some more gold. And now let's try and save our Hellhound, because at some point we're going to be left with that as a scout. Okay, so they will come forward, but they stay out of range of the Ifrit. That's kind of annoying, but never mind. Let's go up to this, and then wait. Okay, I'm going to try and get these away. And Ifrit should be able to finish everything off.
Okay, we'll take the campfire. I think we start bringing Christian back. So we can start upgrading our various creature dwellings or go for the Mage Guild instead. Alternatively, we save up for the capital. I think with the way this is playing out, chances of Aiden taking Green's town are not looking great. So, might be better off just building in the capital ourselves. Try and get Linus back to safety. Okay, so blue is not too close to us. Uh, green is going back with one hero and continuing to explore with the other. I do want to go for his town, but I, I don't think I'm strong enough. It's the stronger hero who goes back, so I think we do go after them. Then Pyre is going to go and explore. Uh, we can see Valeska, that's got to be the strongest. No, it's not. Okay. So yeah, at some point we need to bring... As Blue's main town. Fairly undefended. Loads of heroes. Adelaide is the strongest. There must be like one griffin in that case. I guess several swordsmen is pretty good. That's also doable. We go for them instead. gonna take quite a long time but could go for the fort start upgrading the air elementals Okay, so can Zyron actually get us extra gold? If we invest in some creatures, we go take on a creature bank. So our options are we've got a Dwarven treasury to the north. Nothing too appealing, really. The Dwarven treasury there as well. Maybe we move Caleb towards that just to take a look. Or we do it with Christian instead. Okay, so Axis is going to start coming back with these creatures. Hope for estates. We get a fence, that's not bad. Let's see what guards this. Lots of Medusas, several Medusa Queens. That might be doable at some point. Okay, so we can pick up some creatures, start transporting them towards... Let's see how this would work. Yes, yeah, so we want to bring them to Aiden. We can bring them pretty close next turn, actually. I might even trade for this. So, we don't want to invest in a building. We want to try and get as many creatures as possible. Let's just trade everything we don't need. This stops us getting the fort, but I think that's fine. Uh, in terms of crystal income, we don't have a lot. Uh, we do have Kaled, who's going to be giving us extra soul for each turn, so we can afford to trade some of that. Let's see, so 7k, we can recruit pretty much everything, I think. So we can get 9 Pit Fiends, 3 Efreet, some Gogs, or maybe not some Gogs. I think we go Gogs first. We definitely want the Efreet. And we can then get 5 Pit Fiends. Let's do it. 
Start bringing these across. And let's end the turn. So blue really does have a lot of heroes. Uh, Samulik comes to attack us. He's one of the weaker ones, I think, but he does go straight for Magic Area, so we lose that Ballista. That's fine. Uh, so we can see a sign of Tan as well. Alright, so let's take these creatures straight to Loinus. And Loinus goes through. Need to try and get these creatures to aid in if we can. Ooh, Cape of Velocity. Ooh, that's massive. If we get that, then our Arch Devils are actually faster than Archangels. Throng of Halberdiers. Spell options. Maybe Firewall could kind of work. I think we have to go for this. Okay. Expected loss. How bad are we talking? I'm not worried about this. We'll take a few losses, but nothing too bad. Okay, so we'll wait with these. Need to try and protect these imps. Can already go for a full powered shot on these. Now, if we go for firewall here, I think that'll catch them out. I don't use firewall often, so I'm not completely sure of that. Uh, let's move a little bit closer. And we wait with these. I think we wait with these in the hopes that they go straight through the firewall. Let's come closer. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's not bad. I think that has just about worked out. And we go for these. Firewall does expire. Okay, so what else can we go for? We could go for another firewall. I think we probably can make that work. Need to try and tempt them. Ah, uh, okay. So they get morale, they finish us off. Alright, so this is where the real fight begins. We could go for these. I think we will go for the smaller stack. Send these guys down just to block. And do some damage with these. Then we defend. Okay, so forced to attack. These guys are going to get a little bit closer. Maybe we could shield. Maybe we shield these and send them in. These are faster. I think we do defend. Then they come in. Next round begins. Okay, so if we go straight for this, we get probably seven or eight kills. They strike us back, we will take one or two losses. I could shield. I don't know if I want to try and save some spell points for later on. I'm just going to go for it. Can still reach the imps, unfortunately. But we do finish them off, we don't lose, we get advanced air magic, we get an extremely powerful artifact, and we can see their town, it's right there. But is it beatable? I'm not sure, we don't have any flying creatures. It doesn't have a citadel, 
So it mustn't be their main town, surely. No citadel, no castle. That makes it a lot easier, but still not easy. Maybe we try it. I think we probably end up losing to the pack of swordsmen. The other issue is that Rion's in there, um, probably with full spell points. So what we can do is we can wait until Loinus comes closer. I wish we had a few more creatures. If we bring these up, can that work? But perhaps we bring Vokiel. Try and sling some units across. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to give these to Christian. Then Christian's going to go back towards the town. We're going to recruit Vokiel. Then we go back to Christian, we're going to pass all of these over. Then we go back to Vokiel once again. Move straight to the west. Put ourselves in a position where we can reach Zyron next turn, we move Zyron a little bit further along. The turn after this, we should be able to reach Linus. Linus is not close enough to reach Aiden. Aiden can move straight to the south, we do lose... Um, we lose whatever threat we're putting on that town, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Let's check for windmills and things. Nope. Okay, let's bring him back. Okay, so we're not investing in our towns too much, but I do want to try and make this extremely aggressive play against Green as Tan comes closer, strong enough to take on some Harpy Hags. Uh, unfortunately, Green is right there. But we should be able to beat her. Middleheim stays the same. Maybe I can recruit some more creatures. Can Axis get back? Not quite. I could go for the Harpy Hags. Uh, so I'd have four Pit Fiends for that. Potentially some Cerberi. I don't think it's worth it. I think we pick these up. We at least come back in this direction. Okay, Christian goes back in the town. We're going to pick up as many demons as we can. Let's try and go all the way. So in a way, this aggression isn't really necessary at this point because um, we could actually play relatively defensively and um, try and get ourselves some Arch Devils. And then at least we get to know that we go first. We can also build up our Mage Guild quite a lot. The aggression, if it goes wrong, it's not a big issue, but I think if we can take that town, I'm not sure they had lots of archers before. That's kind of a problem. Okay, let's see what we can do. No more gold available. Strong of dwarves and lots of battle dwarves. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. Okay, this could be a problem. I'm not sure I've quite worked this out right. Uh, so Zyron goes back. Take all of this. Come through the gate. 
We can just about reach Linus, almost. Take all of these. Okay, so if Linus goes for this fight, it's a very easy win. If anything, we probably don't want the skeletons, but we do just want to get as close to Aiden as we can. Um, as soon as we can. Could even bring Aiden back just to go for the magic spring. Problem is, Aiden's spells are just not going to help us too much. We could actually go for visions. But yeah, it's not too helpful. We'll also go for plus one um, spell power, but... Too few spell points to make use of it. But yeah, I think we do go for Sanya. Let's do it. So she does have spell points, that's not what we wanted to see. Uh, but we can go for a few spells of our own, this will kill one. And I think we wait with these. She is focusing on our weak creatures, that's fine. Kind of surprised she didn't try to retreat, but okay. Alright, so we can pick these up next turn. Um, I guess we could go back for this. We can reach it. We can still attack this before the end of the week. Maybe not though, maybe we go for the Horde of Familiars. Okay, so what do we need, what don't we need? So we definitely want all of the Gogs. We obviously want the Ifrit. We want the Pit Lords for sure. Demons we already have space for. And Hellhounds won't make too much difference. I'm almost tempted to bring the Walking Dead just as fodder, but they will lower our morale, so... Maybe not. It's all going to come down to the e I think. The other thing I've done is I've given him a chance to build up his defenses, but he's still... staying put on a fort for now. Uh, I will get the chance to go for this spell. But I won't have many spell points to use it with. But still, this should be an easy fight. They don't want to fight us. We get Scuttle Boat. Okay, I was hoping for something a lot better than that. Alright, we end the turn. Blue is getting stronger and stronger, but... Oh wow, I didn't realise they were that close to me. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, and there's Orange too. Okay, so everyone's already found us. We do share line of sight, but still. Okay, let's try and get some good news. So we can no longer see as much information on that. Uh, Valeska. We couldn't have stopped Valeska either way, so let's not worry too much about that. We have to go for this. We've had some bad news. It's time to end the first episode on a high. We are expected to win. The question is, how can we make this as painless as possible? So he's got 20 spell points, 4 spell power. Okay, let's wait. Let's see what spell he goes for. Doesn't go for a spell. And now he does. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so they come forward. Are they in range? I think the Swordsman are. Maybe we go for Shield, or possibly Bloodlust. So 15% reduction versus plus 3 attack. Plus 3 attack is a 15% increase to our attack effectively. So I think that is the one we go for. We're gonna keep the Imps back. Can go for this attack, we will get probably the better trade of the two, but let's go defensive. Yeah, I'm going to go defensive with most of my creatures, but I'm going to go forward with the e -freight. All 
Alright, so we're going to go for Bloodlust. Ah, of course, they're immune to fire spells. Alright, so that makes our choice easy. We're going to go for Shield. Uh, so if we can go forward, we can attack any of these stacks that we like. Um, problem is, we will be attacked by at least one fairly solid stack next turn. Of the two... Yeah, we're not going to get as many kills as I hoped. I still want to try and take out these archers as soon as I can. What I perhaps should have done... No. There's no way to hit and run the archers without putting myself in range of the swordsmen. And the pikemen. I can hit and run the griffins. It does enable him to keep bothering me with his archers, but... I think... I think I do want to stay back. So if I can just find some place that's out of range of these, but still pretty close to the archers. These guys are 11 speed. So if I just put myself here, I think that's close enough. Let's see what happens. Griffins take the bait. We go for these. Those guys come forward. We stay defensive for now. Go across and finish these off. Then these guys are going to come in and attack. We can attack with these, follow up the pit fiends. We'll take a few losses to the air elementals, but that's fine. Okay, so these guys, 28 health left, that should be fine. Okay, so in terms of turn order, we get to move with our demons before they can move with the swordsmen. We can move with our pit fiends before the griffins, so I think we wait. We attack with these instead, then we attack with these. They actually survive that. Uh, they get an extra kill on the gogs, and we can then finish these off. Okay, so we go up to Expert Air Magic. We've immediately vanquished green. Uh, if this is... well, it must be green's main town, but it's it's not very good. I was hoping they'd have a capital by now. Uh, we can go for the stables. We can hop in, get a bit of a movement boost, and immediately start coming back. Try and take this town back from Valeska. Alternatively, we save our gold, maybe go for the city hall, but I think stables does tempt me. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's try and get our town back before the end of the week. Um, there shouldn't be anyone immediately next to us. I didn't actually check. Didn't actually check what orange has. Oh, quite a lot. That's uh, that's a real problem. Alright, so we're going to have to probably save some gold to try and defend against this. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Coming straight towards our base as well. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to go and take some stuff to the south. Then Axis... Does at least have some defenders ready for us. Still want to try and save up for the Forsaken Palace. I think I do... I do want to get that capital as soon as I can. This town doesn't have one either. So in a way, I think it might be better just to let Valeska have that and focus Aiden on coming back, or... We're probably also strong enough to go for this, but... That one does have a castle. There's some Mulek. If we take out Valeska on the way, that's fine. If Valeska falls back to base and defends it, I'm not sure we can take it. Okay. Lots of decisions to make, but I think we've done enough for this first part, so thanks for watching guys. Do check the playlist link in the description. You will be able to find any further parts there. I will be updating it as we go along. That's all for now, thanks, and I'll see you next time.